Recorded Books presents Nerds Book 4 The Villain Virus by Michael Buckley, narrated by Johnny Heller, and directed by Megan Barrickman. Prologue 38 degrees 87 minutes north, 77 degrees 10 minutes west. In this great big world, there are plenty of lousy jobs, and if you aren't careful, you might grow up to have one. Without the right encouragement and education, you could get stuck being one, an alligator massage therapist, two, a cat food taste tester, three, a toilet bowl shiner, four, a roadkill collector, five, a screenwriter, six, the guy who scrapes boogers off the bottoms of movie theater seats. Which one of these jobs is the worst is open to debate. But all of them are soul-crushing nightmares. Still, none of them are as bad as Sherman Stoops' job. Sherman guarded a humongous head. To be clear, it wasn't just a humongous head. It had arms and legs, but they were teeny tiny and useless. The head had feet and hands too, but they were even smaller and less useful. But. If you were pressed to describe the bizarre creature to a friend, it would be safe to call it a head. A gigantic RV size, tiny limbed head. Sherman's bosses told him that this head was evil and could destroy the world, so it was put into a drug induced sleep. Sherman was also told that if the head were to ever wake up, well, it would be very, very bad. So Sherman had to watch it very, very carefully. It snored, mumbled in its sleep, drooled, and frequently passed gas. Worst job ever. Or was it? It seemed to Sherman that there had been a time when he loved his job. In fact, it seemed like just yesterday. Maybe it was yesterday. He couldn't be sure. Things were foggy lately, but somewhere in the hazy reaches of his memory, there were hints of a time when he thought his job was cool. Didn't he used to think it was epic to be working around spies in a secret headquarters built beneath the school? Hadn't it been thrilling to help a secret organization save the world on a daily basis? Wasn't it awe-inspiring to wear a uniform that was covered in fancy body armor that made him look extremely tough? And what about his oversized laser gun that could burn through metal? None of his f Sample complete. Ready to continue?